So last time on Katie Kazoo, she was thinking of a really great idea to help Louie get lots and lots of customers in her store. His store. But she loved it so much, she didn't want to give it up. So, let's find out what she thought of, shall we? Louie looked at her curiously. How? All you have to do is get in the newspaper. You can do that by getting the reporters to write articles about your restaurant, Katie said. They wouldn't want to do that, Katie. They would if you were going to have a big pizza eating contest, Katie explained. Who can eat the most pizza in Cherrydale? That would be big news. Louie looked at Katie. You should have big ideas for such a little girl. He laughed as he pulled out a pencil and paper. Any thoughts on how we can let people know about the contest? Well, I could put an article about it in the class 3A Times, Jeremy suggested. Jeremy was editor of the class newspaper. And my daddy could post a sign about it on the bulletin board at his office, Becky added. I'll bet my mom would put a sign in the window at the book nook, Katie volunteered. And we could hand out flyers for you all over the mall, said Suzanne. I guess that takes care of everything, Louie said. Then you'll do it, Katie asked. Louis scribbled some numbers on his pad. Well, if I charge you ten dollars a person to enter the contest and five dollars a person to watch the contest, I might be able to afford it. Great! Then you won't have to move to Florida. Hmm, let's wait and see, said Louis. Hey, Katie Kazoo, my mom said I could enter Louie's pizza eating contest, George announced in the schoolyard m Monday morning. Katie smiled. I knew you'd be the first to sign up. No one likes to eat as much as you do, George. Just then, Katie strolled onto the playground. Guess what? he asked the others. I'm entering the pizza eating contest. I can't wait to sink my teeth into Louie's yummy tomato sauce. Kevin said he was wild about tomatoes. George stared at Kevin. What do you mean you're entering the contest? I'm entering the contest. So, said Kevin, we can both enter the contest. Of course I'll win. Don't be so sure, Kevin, Jeremy said. You know what a big eater George is. Oh, please, Suzanne butted in. Kevin is already the tomato-eating champ of Cherrydale Elementary. He'll definitely win. I don't think so, Jeremy remarked. And Jeremy would say anything just to disagree with Suzanne. Kevin, I know you'll win, Suzanne said firmly, especially because I'm going to help you. I'm going to be your coach, Kevin gulped. You are? he asked nervously. Suzanne nodded. Jeremy put his arm around George's shoulder. Don't worry, buddy. I'll be your coach. Together, we'll win this contest. We? George asked. Well... You, Jeremy admitted, but I'll train you. Katie watched as Jeremy and Suzanne stared angrily into each other's eyes. May the best man win, said Suzanne. Don't worry, said Jeremy. I will. You mean he will, Suzanne said, pointing to Kevin. Katie wished her best friends would just get along. But she was glad that so many people were interested in Louie's contest. At lunchtime, Katie sat across from Jeremy and George, and George's lunch tray was piled high with tuna fish sandwiches, two orders of tater tots, 
two pieces of chocolate cake, and two containers of juice. Wow, that's a lot of food, said Katie. George is in training, Jeremy told Katie. He has got to practice every day and every night if he wants to eat and win that contest. Katie watched as George stuffed half a tuna sandwich into his mouth and chewed. Oh, George, Mandy Banks moaned. Don't chew with your mouth open. That's so gross. He can eat anything any way he wants, Jeremy said, as long as he eats a lot and he's fast at it. George shoved six tater tots into his mouth. Yeah, he mumbled with his mouth full of food. Just then, Suzanne and Kevin came to the table, and as usual, Kevin's tray was stacked high with tomatoes. He also had a tuna sandwich, tater tots, and a piece of cake. Okay, Kevin, here's the deal, said Suzanne. You have to eat fast so you can get the slices of pizza before anyone else. You see how stuffing food in their mouths? That means you've got to learn the two-handed munch-out rule. The what? said Kevin. The two-handed munch-out rule. You have to be able to shove food into your mouth with both hands at the same time. Are you nuts? Kevin asked her in disbelief. Suzanne put her hands on her hips. Look, do you want to win this contest or not? I guess so, said Kevin. Good. Now go. Katie watched as Kevin and George shoved cafeteria food down their throats. They seemed fine at first, but after a while, both looked a little sick. George was the first to stop. I can't eat another thing, he told Jeremy. Jeremy stared at George's tray. There were just four tater tots left. I guess you can stop. Besides, we have to go outside. You need to run for a while. But I just ate, George moaned. Come on, Jeremy said. You have to be in shape if you're going to be the pizza king. Suzanne wasn't letting up on Kevin either. When you're finished with those tomatoes, we're going outside to work on sit-ups. We? asked Kevin. Well, you, actually. I don't want to get my dress dirty or anything. But I'll count while you crunch. Kevin just stared at Suzanne. Come on, the contest is this Saturday. You need to build strong stomach muscles to eat all that yummy tomato pizza, Suzanne said with a smile. Oh, don't talk about food right now, Kevin groaned, holding his stomach. After several days of stomach stretching, two hand munching, jogging sit-ups, and arguments between Suzanne and Jeremy, Saturday finally arrived. Katie was up and ready to go to the mall before anyone in her family, including her dog. That was rarely something that happened. Usually, it was the Cocker Spaniel who woke Katie with a big wet lick to the face. Katie wanted to get to the mall as early as possible. She'd promised Louie that she would help him set up for the contest. And there we'll stop. I hope you enjoyed your story, Abigail. I love you so very much. I miss you. <laughs> I'm glad that I can do this for you, and I'm glad you really like my stories. It makes me happy knowing that I can make you happy. I love you, baby girl. And John, thank you so much for letting her see these. And yes, even you too, Austin. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. I love you. Good night. Sweet dreams. <laughs>